Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about a couple of accessories I use for my Sony a6000. And I wanted to do this video on a why because in my recent comments, I got a lot of people who asked me what accessories and like what equipment I would recommend for the Sony a6000. And I really wanted to do this video today because I was like packing my stuff and I just felt like I yeah, should show you today what I use. And the first thing I wanted to show you are these batteries. So these are just the normal batteries for the Sony a6000. And there's one thing I highly recommend when you get these is to get like a third party brand because they are actually like almost half the price. So I got basically these two for around 30 bucks. And I also got like this little battery charger and I just feel like this is a really good deal if you're like a beginner photographer because when I started out with photography the camera was already so expensive for me so getting like spare batteries was like another 100 bucks if I would gone for like the Sony brand one and I actually also feel like these ones just feel very good from the material and also this is very handy when you want to go on a photo shoot you can just charge your batteries so that's why I recommend these ones and the next thing I wanted to show you and these SD cards are my favorite ones for the A6000. And these are the Extreme Pro 64 gig like SD cards. And the reason why I recommend the 64 gigabyte version is that when you, for example, shoot with like a 256 gigabyte SD card or with a 128 gigabyte version, I just feel like the risk is too high. I mean, if you lose, for example, your SD card, I mean, what do you do then? So. That's why I recommend these 64 gigabyte version SD cards. And they're actually pretty cheap when you compare them to other brands. And also from SanDisk, I just feel like they're also very reliable. And on my photo shoots, I always have like two or three from them with me. Usually I don't have more than that because I only use like two. But I just feel like they're a good like choice if you're on a budget because you know they're very reliable, they're very sturdy also. I was like, you know, I dropped them once and you know <laughs> they are very good like from the material so that's why I highly recommend these ones. The next accessory I wanted to show you is this Godox TT350S flash and when I was looking for flash for the Sony a6000 I really couldn't find one which was in my budget and I have to say with flashes there are so many different brands out there and there are some which are very big and I honestly don't really need this really big flash. So that's why I went for this like little Godox flash because it's very light and compact. And the cool thing about this flash is that, you know, you can also have like this little tripod and it works with like TTS, it's very good. And the flash is also very powerful. And this is like more than you need for photography, especially if you're just a beginner. And the material is also very good. And for example, here you can just use, put your batteries inside. Like I, for example, use these rechargeable ones, you can just put them in and it works really good. And this was also in a very good like price range. So when you are starting off, I highly recommend this like flash if you're into flash photography. The next equipment I wanted to show you is this tripod. And this tripod was with me now for like around one and a half years. And the reason why I got this tripod is that it's very light and you can like put your like A6000 on it and you can like put it somewhere and you can record yourself. You can also vlog with it and you also have the possibility, you know, to twist up this, this little thing. So when you, for example, vlog, you can twist it and you can see yourself better. But the only thing I dislike about this thing is that the material could be a bit better. I saw some people having these ones and for example, one of these arms were breaking. So that's the only thing I dislike about this thing. But if you're just starting out with vlogging or if you, you know, want something where you can put your camera on, this one is really good. The next equipment I wanted to show you is this H1N like recorder. And it's actually right now on the top here. So I cannot show you, but I just have to say with the A6000, when I record, for example, audio, I feel like, and I can show you right now, the audio isn't really the best from this camera because it also has no audio jack. So the best thing you can do is like record your audio externally. So that's why I also use this recorder and I'm very happy with it. And it's also my price range. I mean, Zoom also has like the Zoom H4n and even higher like, you know, models, but this one works perfectly fine. 
and it does the job and that's why I got it. The next equipment I wanted to show you is this UV filter. And I got this UV filter a year ago and when I got it, I was a bit skeptical because when you get a UV filter, it's like also kind of a new like glass on your lens. And especially most of the UV filters you can get are very cheap unless you pay like 100 bucks or more. So I got this like $10 uh, like UV filter. And what I like about this one is that it protects your lens. And I would rather like risk like 1% lower quality of my lens than to have my camera damaged. So I had a couple of photo shoots where like I was shooting and there was like water going onto my lens and with this UV filter, there isn't the risk that you damage your lens. And that's why these ones are really good and I highly recommend them also for you. And the final equipment and probably the most important equipment for your photo shoots is this little wristband. And the reason why I recommend this wristband is because I see a lot of photographers and they go out and shoot, but they don't use this wristband. And this really can save your life because I had a photo shoot once where I was shooting without this. And imagine yourself, you photo shoot and then your camera falls onto a big rock and your whole camera and your lens breaks. So that is why I recommend these guys. And they're not even that expensive. So I got this one like with my gimbal and the one I'm using right now for my E6000 is from the Wii controller and they are so good for your like for your camera and I just highly recommend them a lot for your photo shoots because I don't want your camera to break on your next photo shoot so these ones are really good and what you can also do is you know just put your hand in here and you don't feel a difference and the only thing you notice is that your camera is saved so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video and what is your favorite camera accessory for your Sony A6000? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to see more content from the Sony A6000, you can also check out Michelle's photo shoot behind the scenes on the top left. And again, huge thank you for watching guys. Take care of yourself and see you next time.